All right, you guys are on Numbers chapter 4, Method of Moving the Ark. <clears throat> we'll start with a prayer in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen, God. Thank you for this day. In your name we pray, Amen. <clears throat> and the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, After their families, by the house of their fathers, from 30 years old and upward to 50 years old, all who can enter into the ho into the host to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. This is the service of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation concerning the most holy things. And when the camp marches forward and Aaron and his sons shall come in, they shall take down the covering veil and cover the ark of, of testimony with it <clears throat> and shall put it on it the covering of badgers skins and shall spread over it a cloth all of purple or all of blue a cloth all of blue <clears throat> all of blue like my blue shirt and shall put in the poles thereof and upon the table of showbread they shall spread the cl a cloth of blue and put upon it the dishes the spoons the bowls and the flagons for a drink offering and the continual sh shoe bread shall be on it and they shall spread thereon a cloth of scarlet and cover the same with a covering of badger skins and shall put in the poles thereof and they shall take a cloth of blue and covering the candlestick of the light and its lamps and its tongs and its snuff dishes and all the oil vessels thereof with which they minister to it and they shall put it in and they shall put it and all its vessels within a covering of badger skins and shall put it upon its poles and upon the golden altar they shall spread a cloth of blue and cover it with a covering of badger skins and shall put it upon its poles and they shall take all the vessels of the, of the ministry wherewith they minister in the sanctuary and put them in a cloth of blue and cover them with a covering of badger skins and shall put up them on the poles and they shall take apart the altar and spread a purple cloth over it and they shall put it with it all the vessels thereof which they with which they minister upon it the censers the meat hooks and the shovels and the basins and all the vessels of the altar and they shall spread upon it a covering of badger skins and put in its poles and when Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary and all the vessels of the sanctuary as the camp is to march after that. The sons of Kohath shall come in to bear it, that they may not touch any holy thing, lest they die. These things are to be borne by the sons of Kohath in the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. And to the office of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest pertains the charge of the oil for the light and the sweet incense and the daily meal offering and the anointing oil and the oversight of all the tabernacle and of all the things that are in it and of the sanctuary and its vessels. And the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron saying, you shall not destroy the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites, but do this to them that they may live and not die. When they enter into the most holy place, Aaron and his sons shall go in and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden. They shall not go in to observe when the holy things are covered, lest they die. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take also the sum of the sons of Gershon throughout the horses, throughout the houses of their fathers by their families, from thirty years old and up until fifty years old, you shall number them. All who are able bodied to perform the service to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites, to serve and to bear burdens. They shall carry the curtains of the tabernacle and the ta tabernacle of, of the congregation itself, the veil of the door thereof, and the covering of the badger's skins that is upon it, and the hangings of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the hangings of the court, and the hanging for the entrance of the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle and by the altar roundabout, and the cords thereof, and all the instruments of their service, and all that they do and serve. 
at the command of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of Gershom, in all their burdens, and in all their service. And if and you shall appoint unto them in charge all their burdens. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershom in the tabernacle of the congregation, and their charge shall be under the land, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. As for the sons of Merari, you shall number them after their families, by the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward to fifty, year, to fifty years old, you shall number them. Every able man to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. And this is the charge of their burden, and of all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation, the boards of the tabernacle, its bars and its pillars and its sockets, and the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, their pins, and their cords, with all their instruments and with all their service. And by name you shall count the instruments included in their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Merari and all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. And Moses and Aaron and the chiefs of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathite, Kohathites after their families by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward to fifty years old. Every able man for the work of the tabernacle of the congregation and their number by their families was two thousand and seven hundred and fifty. These were the numbers of the families of Kohath, Kohath, all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of the Lord by Moses. And the number of the sons of Gershon by their families and by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward to fifty years old, every able man for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation, and their number by their families and by the house of their fathers, was 2,630. These were the numbers of the family of the sons of the sons of Gershon, all who were all who served in the tabernacle of the congregation, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of the Lord. And the number of the families of the sons of Merari by their families, by the house of their fathers from 30 years old and upward to 50 years old, every able man for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation, and their number by their families, was 3,200. These are the numbers of the sons of Merari whom Moses and Aaron numbered, according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All those who were numbered of the Levites whom Moses and Aaron and the chiefs of Israel numbered after their families and by the house of their fathers. From 30 years old and upward to 50 years old, all able men to do the service of the ministry and the work of the burden in the tabernacle of the congregation. Their number was 80,580. According to the commandment of the Lord, they were numbered by the hand of Moses, every one according to his service and according to his burden. Thus they were numbered as the Lord commanded Moses. Chapter 5. Cleaning up the camp will begin tomorrow. And with that, we'll close with the prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and God. Thank you for this night. In your name we pray. Amen. Peace. See you guys tomorrow.